What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Tuesday. I got a 15 game slate here tonight. I get it broken down for you with two pitchers, four batters to get it done here tonight. Disappointing night with the plays yesterday. Um, Brandon McKay really screwed us over, struggled with his command, led up two home runs. His, um, his infield didn't do him any favors, two errors in the second inning. And uh, it was a quick night for him. So always a risk with some of these younger, less proven guys. But he was in a perfect match to have a good night. Just didn't have it yesterday. And um, the rest of the hitters weren't too great either. Um, so all in all, pretty uh, bad night with the plays. But uh, we were doing pretty solid before then. So you, MLB baseball, sometimes you those nights where things just don't work out in your favor despite great matchups. So hopefully this is a better night. Drop a like in the video if you're feeling confident about it. Uh, let's try to get over 70 likes in this one. And, uh, let's hop right into it. So first guy up, I'm going to go with uh, Sonny Gray here at 9,700. It is in Cincinnati. Not great pitcher conditions. Um, but And also there's a small chance that it could be delayed here in this game. So definitely keep an eye on that. But I think the weather looks good enough here in this matchup. Coming off a really solid outing against St. Louis. Five innings. 10 Ks only allowed one hit, good for 32 drafting points. I think he has that same kind of upside here, <clears throat> and he's a little bit of a better value, I would say, than some other pitchers who seem a little bit priced up in their matchups. And going against San Diego, this is a watered down lineup. They don't have Tatis anymore, they don't have uh, Reyes, uh, Framo Reyes, and um, the lineup just doesn't look nearly as scary. So I think Sonny Gray can really have a good outing here. Um, Machado, their best hitter by far, probably Hunter Renfro as well. And Gray typically is better against right-handed batters. So I feel pretty confident about him here tonight um, in this matchup. I think he can have a really good strike at upside as San Diego is like tied for the highest striker rate on the slate, 26.7%. And uh, he's been pretty damn good at striking people out this year as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first pitcher. And let me go with Aaron Sanchez, another guy way too underpriced here at 6,800. Probably going to be pretty chalky, but I'm worthy, or I'm capable, I'm definitely willing, that's the word I was looking for, I'm willing to um, bite the chalk here in this matchup. Coming off a tough outing against um, the Athletics, definitely, but it's definitely a spot where you can bounce back here. I mean, Detroit, one of the worst lineups, if not like the worst lineup in Major League Baseball right now, in uh, Houston, good pitcher's park, and he's had really good BVP in a small sample, however. Um, a 115 batting average allowed to them, a 34% K rate and 29 plate appearances. So definitely nothing to gloss over. It's That's pretty uh, damn good, and even if it was in 29 plate appearances. And they're only implied 3.1 runs. So Vegas loves Aaron Sanchez in this matchup. I think he has a better floor here. Um, he can settle in against a team that doesn't really offer that much home run upside. That was the biggest issue with them last time out against Oakland. But if you look at Detroit's lineup, you're not seeing much power upside there. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my second pitcher. And that gives us some great ability to spend up for some batters. So I'm going to be a little bit of a, a noob here and go with Mike Trout. But I think he just got to go with him sometimes when it makes a lot of sense. And this is one of those matchups here in Texas. A big park upgrade. It's going to be like 98 degrees here in Texas tonight. Um, he isn't as good against lefties. But it's going against a guy in his first career start against uh, Burke, and he's going to be a little bit nervous probably against the likes of Mike Trout, Otani up there, and I could easily see him having a quick night and getting into this bad bullpen. So I think uh, Mike Trout, him, he might only face against this guy like once or twice in the lineup, and he could possibly get another one or two at bats, maybe even three at bats against the bad bullpen. So I think this makes a lot of sense here. 5500 honestly not a bad price for a guy of his ability and, and like a super hitter-friendly ballpark like Texas. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there against Burke. And Burke hasn't even been that good in AAA this year. So if he's not good in AAA, he's going to struggle against the best hitter in baseball. And for my second guy, I'm going to go with Otani here at 5,000. I feel like he could be a little bit overlooked because it is against a lefty here. Um, so maybe a little bit of a leverage play. He did actually hit a triple against a lefty yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Got a stolen base. Um, he still has that stolen base ability. He's showing a little bit more recently. Had another one against Pittsburgh the other night. So definitely another thing that could lead you to more upside. And this guy's been very hot recently in his last 10 games. 429 
I don't know why I keep on moving the screen. 429, 13.1 fantasy points per game. So really good stuff. Similar to what I said with Trout. Too good of a hitter in a good hitter's ballpark like Texas. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my uh, second hitter. Then I'm going to go with Wilmer Flores, a left-handed pitcher killer at uh, 4,600 here. He's been absolutely smoking the lefties again here. Actually, six out of all six of his home runs have come against lefties. And against Freeland, he's 4 for 10 with a double and a home run. Three, 300 ISO against lefties, 413 Woba. I think he can easily get it done against Freeland here tonight. Has uh, been killing it recently against lefties. Three home runs in the last uh, three games. 17, 18, and 28 draft game points. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third hitter. And for my final guy, I'm going to go with Reese Hoskins. 4,300, another good guy against a lefty here. And Brian Johnson, who has not been good against right-handed batters, allowing 2.5 home runs per nine to them. And Hoskins, 270 ISO. He's been like in, towards that leadoff spot against lefties too, which gives him a little bit more upside. The ability to see five at-bats here in this match of the Phillies are implied around 5.5 runs. So a good spot for him. Brian Johnson, not a good pitcher. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy. So you got Sonny Gray, Aaron Sanchez, Hoskins, Flores, Mike Trout, and Otani. So I hope you enjoyed it. Drop in the like Drop a like in the video before you, had a, before you head out. If you did, hit that sub button to not miss out on any more MLB picks. And uh, good luck here tonight. Hope you guys won a lot of money. We'll see you back here again next time.